Right guys, so today you are joining me on the floor. And this is the PC that I kind of use to run the show down here. This is like my kind of studio PC. Editing, workflow, video capturing. Basically this is what I use when I'm down here. Primarily it sees a lot of use for VR gaming, so it needs to be pretty good at gaming as well. And uh, yeah, I use it for capturing video from my cameras. I use it for recording audio and a few other things as well. So it needs to be pretty good at a few different things. Uh, its current specs are a 1080 Ti with 32 gigs of RAM, a X470 Tai Chi motherboard from ASRock, and a Ryzen 7 2700X and power supply, blah, 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 boring stuff. Right, so I picked this up the other day. It's a Elgato 4K6, blah, blah, blah. Elgato 460, Elgato 4K 60 Pro. If I just read what it said on the screen, I'd be able to do that. So I picked that up about a week ago or so. Uh, it was on Amazon for some reason. It was like 60 quid cheaper than everywhere else, which no idea why it was. I think it was about 190, usually about 250. So I bought it because I wanted to get it then because it was cheap. And with everything that's going on, a lot of Elgato stuff is out of stock and prices are increasing. So yeah, I just went out and got that and I need to get that implemented into that PC that's on the floor. As you probably just saw, there's cables everywhere. That thing has about 4,000 USB things plugged into it. Also, I want to take out the 1080 Ti and I want to install a RTX 2070. That is a downgrade when it comes to performance and gaming and generally a lot of things. But the main reason is it is a ray tracing. It's not, it's, not, it's not going to trace any rays, to be honest. It is an RTX card, so therefore it has those tensor cores. And Nvidia are pushing a lot of kind of things with that lately. They've got their RTX voice, which can work on GTX cards if you're willing to mess around with a few things. But they're also using making use of these kind of things in uh, other things. I think in DaVinci Resolve you get improved performance when using an RTX card over a GTX card in Adobe Premiere. Finally, they're implementing some form of GPU rendering, so that will see improved results with an RTX card over a GTX card. Even though the 1080 Ti has more CUDA cores and is the more powerful card, the RTX 2070 can outperform it. So I've got it. I only use it really for kind of test builds and videos. The 1080 Ti will do the exact same job and probably do even better job if I'm honest. It's got the, it's the Strix version and I might as well pick it up. That one, the big beefy boy. I bought that used by the way for 400 pounds. Good card, lasted me a long time. So my main intentions for today are to get the 4K60 Pro in there and to get the 2070 in there. That will make things easier when it comes to using OBS so I can use the new NVENC encoder I can make, take full advantage of that. I can do better kind of streaming if I ever want to get into that, which I may, with everything that's going on, I may well consider. And also I want to use the 4K60 Pro for better game capturing footage. So when I'm doing say PC builds, I want to be able to get full kind of, albeit it won't be probably playing 4K games with the PC builds that I use. It'd be good to just kind of get the maximum kind of quality I can. And uh, yeah, then that way I can make use of that in post and edit. Right, I'm just rambling now. Let's forget all the nonsense and get this stuff installed, get that PC off the floor. It's probably gonna need a serious cleaning because I am basically in a shed out here and uh, it's gonna be full of spiders, I reckon. Don't put your PCs on the floor, it's a bad idea. Well, wood floor's probably fine, carpet not so much. But yeah, time to take this thing apart and see what it's like inside. Right, so upon closer inspection, it appears to be covered in dust and also spider shit. Nice. Inside though, looks pretty clean. Happy with that. Right guys, as you can see. Looks okay. A little bit of dust, let's grab a light and get things there we go. Only a little bit of dust, not too bad. I've not cleaned this for a very long time. What about in here, the dust filter? How's she looking? Do you know what? 
it's not bad. Happy with that. Just a small bit of dust. Nothing to complain about there. So right, let's get that GPU out. That'll make it easier to install the Elgato card and then we'll stick in the 2070 as well. Right, so first things first, we'll give everything a little quick wipe down just for my peace of mind. Honestly, not really gonna make much difference there. So we'll get this graphics card out. At the end of the day, if I just wanted to make use of all these RTX features, I probably could have gone with a cheaper graphics card than a 2070. But at the end of the day, I have a 2070. That's the only other one I have. And I also want it to be decent for gaming because I do use this for VR. Uh, why? Why? I need something long and pointy. There we go. All right, so there's a bit of dust on there. A little bit of dust on the fans as well, if you can kind of see that. Not too bad though. I've seen a lot, lot worse cards. Trust me, a lot, lot worse. Who knew you're getting an unboxing video as well? Oh, I see, that's if you want to put it in a low profile case, like those really slim, kind of like Dell cases, basically, is what I think of. But I shouldn't need that. That is small. That's really small. I thought it'd be bigger than that. I think the old one was, but this new one they've just released. I don't think I'll be using that. I'm not a complete loser. Uh, what do we get? HDMI cable. Nice. Good addition. That was one thing I was worried about. I don't think I actually ha I have. A HDMI 2.0 cable anywhere nearby. <laughs> I honestly can't get over how small this is. Look how cute that is. It's teeny tiny. Um, so where is that going to go? How much space will that take up? I'm assuming we're going down the bottom. Yeah. So we're going to be going there. Therefore, we need to take this one out here. Apologies if you see my head. Well, that was hard to install, wasn't it? It's taken me a week to do that. The problem is I was dreading the amount of dust that was gonna be in here. And it turns out there is basically done. And then my final thumb screw. the eight pin. It's annoying. Oh well, you're never gonna see it. It's on the floor. And then I suppose all that is left to do is put the panel back on. Whilst I'm there, I might clean off that little bit of... I know, it's acrylic, it's gonna scratch, it's already scratched, it's about five years old, this case. I don't care. Oh, while we're here, power supply dust filter. Absolutely nothing. Right, so if you have wooden floors, your PC is absolutely fine to go on the floor. So, don't worry about that. If you have carpet floors, no, don't do it. Carpet holds dust and dirt a lot better than wood. Right, let's put this thing back in its home on the floor on the side of the desk. Right guys, so I've got everything connected and set up, I believe. I've got my Camlink 4K set up, which is, you can see this image in the bottom left hand corner. I've also got the microphone which is on the, um, which is plugged into the camera, uh, recording audio as well. Then I've got the 4K60 Pro set up, 
and the Rift audio, so that way I can record the audio that goes into the Oculus Rift. And then I can also, and you can see that's moving up and down because the microphone over there, if we can focus, set up on top of those boxes, next to those boxes, it's picking up my voice. So yeah, we've got everything all set up and now I'm gonna quickly show you guys just some really quick gameplay. One thing I did notice that I've only recorded, I'm recording this after I've already done the gameplay. Uh, for some reason, there was like this huge, like great big banner which said leaderboard on the right hand side. I have no idea why that's there. So I'm just going to show you the quick footage and then I'll leave you guys with that. Anyway, guys, I know this video was a little bit different. You just kind of joined me along for the journey whilst I've been messing around and fiddling with stuff. You're lucky I didn't include you with the messing around in OBS because it took me ages to try and get those audio tracks right and all that kind of stuff. I'm not that fluent with OBS, if I'm honest, so it took me some time, but I got there in the end. A few tutorials from Epos Vox always hooks a brother up. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I needed to do. So I'll leave you with the footage. I'm just gonna show that after this now. And if you did like this video, feel free to click that like button. If you decide my face hasn't offended you guys, click that subscribe button so we can see each other again soon. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers. Right guys, so I'm trying this again. I have set up all of the audio inputs correctly now. I don't, I'm not just recording the game audio like I did the first time I tried this, so uh, you won't see that. I'm now also gonna be recording the microphone on the camera, so apologies if this sounds awful. There'll probably be loads of background noise that'll be picking up. Audio. I wasn't actually recording. Oh, come on. I wasn't recording. Come on! I don't think it is a grinder, I think it's a chop saw. This is not a permanent solution, this is purely just to show that I've actually managed to set everything up right. I did change the 4K60 Pro from a display output to a video output uh, in OBS, or video capture should I say. So we're actually using the capture card as it should be and not just as a display capture through OBS. So. Uh, yeah, fix that now. Let's try and play a game and make sure everything works okay. Selected and constructed a robo relay to pacify the area. Yeah. Watch it there. Don't forget to click that like button. Three, two, one, go! Agent 34, that bot has an energy rifle. Get him! Can you clear this area? 